Okay, so we just kind of rolling it back. We're trying to ease y'all in to the first of the year. You know what I'm saying? I'm going on a spiritual sabbatical here in a couple weeks. You know what I'm saying? And so in the meantime, we're going to start gradually moving y'all into what our new schedule is going to be like because we're going to go into seasons because we're so busy. You know what I'm saying? But listen, I cannot wait. Who's ready for the wine we about to spill tonight? Can't no, but listen, 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 listen. They've been out here trying to tell y'all this, that, this, that, this, that. But if you a wino, and shout out to the new winos too. If you new, hit new, new. But to the OGs that has been with me, through thick and thin, even if you just got here, even if you you got you came and you left and you came back, you saw what they were trying to do to the brand out here, only for us to be five years ahead. Five years ahead. Don't oh, she be lying about what? I don't need to lie on nobody. I don't need to lie on nobody around here. Lies don't make me money. Stories do. And if y'all, they wasn't out here putting their business out here, I wouldn't make no money. You understand? We wouldn't be making. And so listen, full show. Full show. We got two shows, all right? We got this show, and then we got TashaKLive.com, all right? And you guys know that we are premiering NBA star Joe Smith's wife, Keisha Chavis's tell our interview tonight. All right? We'll roll that trailer in a minute. Matter of fact, let's roll it now. Let's go. I ain't going to make them wait. Let's get it. You are the wife of NBA star Joe X Smith. Joe Smith, yes. okay. We're going to call you Kiss. Is that your artist name? Yes. Do you use that on OnlyFans as well, too? Okay. I was a porn star from the years of 1989 to 2006. AIDS was rampant around this time. Everyone thinks that because you're a porn star, you're super promiscuous and that, you know, mm -hmm. you have a high body count. <laughs> I, I ain't never seen nobody punk their husband the way you did. I Make y'all wait a little bit for that, cause that, that wine is too heavy. It's too heavy. We get too, we get messy too soon. Okay, hold that thought. That interview will be premiered tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TashaKLive.com. You will need your subscriptions, and we do we watch it out here, cause if anybody is streaming our stuff, let me tell you something. Not only do we be watching. But the TashaKLive.com is be watching, and they send me every link, and we get everybody shut down. We love to interrupt YouTube checks, TikTok checks, Instagram checks, Facebook checks, okay? We love to interrupt, and we do not renege on anything, okay? So y'all stay tuned for that. We'll play the whole trailer a little later. Let's go ahead and get to the show. So Beyonce. No, it, what we got? Oh, that's right. We got we to gotta celebrate black love around here, Okay. We got to start balancing out the show. It's too many people breaking up, and I don't want y'all to not believe in love, okay? Love is very real. I have a very successful marriage. Reason being, I don't put my marriage business out there on the street. Neither does Ice Cube or his wife. You got to have something for yourself, but social media seems to think, okay, that everything is for everybody, okay? They selling everybody, they selling their kids, they selling their grandmama, granddaddy, caregivers, whoever they can get on camera, they are selling. And I love that these two, okay, Ice Cube and his wife, what's her name? I don't even know her name. That's good. Because Kimberly, that's good that I don't know her name. You see what I'm saying? He's still posting old pictures. He don't even post no new pictures of her. But Ice Cube and Kimberly have celebrated, I think yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, either yesterday or today, 31 years of marriage, okay? And when I tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, me tell you how clean this is. He cleaner than Denzel Washington. Now, a lot of y'all thought Denzel Washington was out here. Let's just say... What Aaron Hall told the other day, why is Denzel watching Aaron Hall screw, allegedly, randoms? Matter of fact, the, 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 the women is calling me that, that he screwed Aaron Hall. Not Denzel, but Aaron Hall. And I'm going to ask him if Denzel was in the room watching. I'm going to ask him. Don't you worry about that. But in this case, we got to show them some love. I love this. Because like I said, everybody's been breaking up. Dwayne and Gabby. Everybody said, Natasha, when did that happen? I'm like, we've been putting that out. You see how we be ahead of things? You know what I'm saying? And people just be like, you didn't talk about this. Yes, I did. You got to be on TashaKLive.com. That's where it goes down. Over here, it's very commercialized. Very, very safe. <laughs> TashaKLive.com, it is unsafe. We cannot save nobody. 
You were on your own over there, okay? And so I just want to show them love. And he did pin a very, very sweet message to his wife, okay? Let me pull up that message real quick, all right? And y'all stop by. Y'all make sure y'all stop by the Cube household to just show some love and tell them thank you for being an example, you know, of, of life and love and marriage and loyalty. He basically just said 31 years of marriage, 34 years of love, happy anniversary. Very short and sweet. That's very husband-like. When you got a real man, he don't need no paragraph. He don't need to post you every day. <laughs> That's when you know they're cheating. When they post you every day, when they pin long messages, when they in interviews talking about you all the time, they're doing that so that if they do get caught cheating, you're going to forgive them because of everything that they said and did for you. Okay? So when you see them in interviews, somebody done spent millions of dollars. They didn't say that. My wife is this. My wife is that. You just need to tell her. You don't need to tell us. They're tell, he's telling us to prove to her because they don't humi they didn't, they, they done humiliated her, whether it's up front or whether behind the scenes. That please, baby, I love you. I love you. I done told the word I love you. Even though my dick is over here, my heart is here. And so with Ice Cube, dick and heart in the house because she got plates in the house. He ain't never, you know, ain't never been no side, on the side, in the front, in, in the back, none of that. We got to show this man some love, okay? And so this is the definition of true love, and let's just hope we don't jinx it here, okay? So congratulations to this lovely couple. <laughs> Moving on. Speaking of love, this is how you know. See, what I just said, keep this in mind. What the hell is going on outside my office? Who banging on the door like that? Tell me I ain't got no money. I'm sorry, y'all. Somebody banging. This was somebody rocking the door. Felt like I was at a deja vu reunion again. They banging on the door. The trans women to get to me. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I got PTSD for real. Okay, Portia and Simon celebrating. I, I don't know what. Uh, go ahead. I want to give you your anniversary gift. Oh boy. <laughs> um, I just want to say that I love you so much. I adore you from now to infinity and beyond, mm. even after death. <laughs> mm. So, I wanted to get you something to show you how our love goes on and on and on. Oh. I want you to be Another ring? Yeah. Pause. Oh. Did y'all rewind that back just a little bit? He was just as surprised as I was. It, she didn't even buy me anything. Do you understand what I'm saying? He was not, I don't think he was impressed. He said, another rink? Then he had to hurry up and catch his demeanor. Watch it again. Just watch it. Another no, rink? rewind it. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit more. Let's talk about just a little bit. Because on and on and on. Oh. I want you to be there. Another ring? <laughs> oh. <laughs> pause, 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 pause. She had the camera set up. This was for social media. This man's reaction, let me tell you what his reaction was in the minute when we done, okay? We're going to celebrate their love. She wanted the world to celebrate their love. You know what I'm saying? She's no longer side chick love. She's, she's wife love. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> now go ahead. This Pause. Is called. Pa okay, so she done made him do a PSA. Made him. This was not voluntary. Let's go. Kiss. Keep the fuck moving. <laughs> Are you blind? Huh? You see that on that brother? You see huh? that on that man? Does he look single to you? <laughs> keep it stepping. That's the keep it stepping ring. That's right. Keep it stepping ring. Keep it stepping ring. That way. That way. Not this way. No, yeah, this way. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm taking. I'm sorry. Uh oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> oh, pop, pop. Congratulations for celebrating life, love. I mean, she could have waited till Christmas. Christmas is coming up. Now she done took this man's money and bought him another ring after he just spent. Hundreds of thousands of dollars on a ring to marry her less than a year ago. 
Okay, that's why he was like another ring. You can tell he's he. This is this is a smart man. This man is a numbers man. So you know he had to play along because he realized that she was recording. But I guarantee if she wasn't recording, he would have been like, "Babe, I don't need a ring. I'm your husband. That's what real men do. I don't need a ring. You can get me the rubber ring for the gym. I'm good." <laughs> Why you got all these diamonds and then now you got me doing a PSA that he don't even believe to my I'm married, keep it stepping. Remember, when he was with Fallon, we had the side chicks he was stepping with and, well, Portia was stepping too, doing lines with him. Y'all don't remember? Y'all don't remember? The chick. Dro showed up to my driveway, because, you know, I got a driveway that drives, that, it drives right up to the house. It's like a big, grand driveway when we was living in Georgia. You know, the house is still there. We was rented out. You know what I'm saying? And so she got out. I was like, oh, she got out of the car. She had Mercedes Benz sign right there. She, you know, walked in and was like, you know, he's a, he's a spender. He's a trick. So I guess she's reiterating because she understands that this man has been married five times. I think like five or six, if I'm not mistaken. It's more than four. She knows how those marriages end. They end because of women like her that come in, they see what he got, they want it because you're putting it all out on social media. Matter of fact, bring up the putting too much out on social media right up on the Porsche. You see where we going here? Okay. Because you're doing too much. And when you're doing too much, you're trying to prove something to us for what? Enjoy your marriage, enjoy your man. You don't have to put it out there, Portia. You're not on reality TV no more. That's how you lost the last one. Just enjoy it for you. And like I said, he wasn't impressed. I wasn't impressed because he's like, damn it, I paid for it. Them sheets is not selling. I get my sheets from Ross. The hotel collections, 800 thread count. Mm-hmm. Like Ross. They do. Twenty dollars. Mm-hmm. Thick ones too. But speaking of doing too much, so there's a there's a TikToker by the name of Tana. I think her name is Tana Smith, and this is her husband. Congratulations, Tana. You just made Tasha K. <laughs> if I hadn't have saw the video of your husband, you wouldn't have been up here. But since you putting a video out of your husband everywhere. And now you're mad at the feedback that you're getting, and you're saying you're not going to put your husband out anymore. I t I, listen, I be trying to tell him, don't I, Jasmine? Everything ain't for social media at all. But let's go ahead and start with the video. So, Ta Tana, let let's start with the video of her complaining, and then, you know, we'll go into why. All right, let's go. I'm debating about putting my husband back on my social media. Like, I'm getting real sick and tired. Like, you want to share your family, show them how fun. Like, let people know in the real world that, you know, just don't settle. There's real men and there's good daddies and everything out there. But is it dis disrespect from the females? <laughs> the females, they be in your comments. Oh, I, I love y'all together. But then hop in my husband DM. Uh -huh. Like, it's crazy. Like, I'm not no, going to no. like, see it. Like, I'm not going to see it. Like, oh. but it's, it's. The, the amount of people is ridiculous. Like, oh, oh you're a good father. You a, you a, you, you're a good dad, a good provider, a good husband. Well, if you're a good husband, why the hell are you and my husband DM? Sounds like they have some problems at home. <laughs> I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is why you got to keep your man off social media. Matter of fact, I had a conversation with uh, Kendra G. I'm going to spill a little wine here. Shout out to Kendra G. I love her. I love her to death. But old girl came for me, and I said, one day I'm going to have a reason to share this, and I'm going to share it today. So shout out to Kendra G for bringing black love together. I love what she's doing over there. I love her platform. It's very positive, okay? But before we move into the video of why she's upset at us responding and reacting to the same thing she's reacting to, I don't get it. But I have a saying when I talk to people. I say, instead of saying, now I got to go by, sometimes... I don't even think I say bye when I hang up, do I? I just hang up the phone, right? So when I'm on the phone with somebody or when I'm ending a message, especially if I'm getting to know you, I know you, I either don't say nothing or I say, keep your man off social media. 
Keep me mad on social media. Four hours later, me and Kendra G are having a very, very good conversation. Four hours later, she came back. I know damn well you ain't threatening me and my man. I was like, what? I'm in a DM, like, hold up. Why are you going to tell me? Matter of fact, hold on. I ain't going to put them out there, but I'm going to read verbatim because I, I was just going to prove my point because I love Kendra, but this is I do this for a living. I'm old school. You're going to be out here like this one. Keep putting your man on social media, and this is a fine-ass man. Look at him. Tell me that ain't no nice piece of chocolate. Now, she beautiful, too, but you sharing with us, sis, so we're trying to be sister wives. You understand? So what I was saying to Kendra G., Right, and I apologized to her because I felt like, okay, she didn't know me, so I get why she would be offended, but I really was coming from a great place. And I, I joke like that all the time. I'd be like, yo, keep your man, keep your woman on social media, keep it to yourself. She took it as if I was trying to expose her, and I'm like, well, I didn't even know you had a man, Kendra. I did It's just advice that I give, okay? And so I said, um... I told her that good. You look beautiful. Okay. Love you. Hold on. Hold on. Let me make sure. Let me, let me make sure. Hold on. I want to start from the good stuff. Okay. And how, 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 how these messages transcended into what she's complaining about here. Okay. So this is what I was trying to tell Kendra G, but then she got upset, but then we made up, but she still, she still feel us a type of way. Cause I was like, this is a lot of energy. This was on the same day I hosted Deja Vu reunion. And then the next day, Cedar's world was out in the club kicking somebody. It was just a lot going on this week. It was a lot going on that week. So I said, um, you know, I was talking about a celebrity couple and I was like, Hey, I'm on their asses. And then she goes, I know you are. And I said, good. And I told her that she looked beautiful at a party and um, and I said, so did she, this particular celebrity we were talking about. She says, love you, Tasha. I understand. And I understand that you have a job to do, says Kendra G. I promise I will do your show next year. And then she says she wants to launch her app. I'm going to, you know, send y'all to the app so y'all can find loved ones. And I said, yes, ma'am. Girl, take your time is what I said. And then I said, and keep your man hidden from my blog. Right? That's me ending the conversation. We out. Keep him off my blog. I do it to everybody, my sisters, everybody. It's just a saying. I'm very, I'm very funny like that, sarcastic, but I'm, I'm, I'm meaning it. But I'm, I'm saying it. I'm not saying it as a threat. Now I can understand why she probably felt like it was a threat because I was asking her about a couple. <laughs> But I was only asking about the couple. I was following up with a story. I wasn't fishing for a story. I was following up on a story, okay? And I don't want to involve her in that mess because that's none of her business, right? Okay? That's my business, not hers. And so, and I go, congratulations on your app. Right after I said, keep your man hidden from my blog, right? And then she says, my man, child, whatever, we down for whatever. I said, okay. And I hit the, the exclamation mark, like, okay, girl, you got it. Four hours later, and this happened. <laughs> Yeah, I fucks with you, but don't you ever threaten my relationship. I don't play those type of games. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. It's four hours later. I'm on the set of Deja Vu. What the fuck just happened here? I literally would thought we was good. What? I, I, I don't get it. And I said, uh, I have a sarcastic type of humor, Kendra, and I tell public figures that all the time. Keep your man off the internet. I said, but if I hear something, I always tap the girlfriends first. I always tap the wives first. People, people know that about me. I'm not going to just expose your man and not tell you. I'm going a, I'm to a hit you first so you can go ahead and go through your emotions before it come out. I got a job to do at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? And then you married to a commodity. I can't fit. So then I say, uh, don't worry. Um, I said, don't worry. I don't. She said, I, I said, I always tap the, tap the girlfriends first. I said, but don't worry. I don't take likes to threats either. So I had to come to her level because you know me I'm going to go to hell she's beautiful look at the beautiful woman okay and I said again congratulations on your app don't I didn't know that you were in a relationship either and I was joking but not and I said no need to be ready if nothing is going on and I put the dead face and she said girl we good and I'm not worried about anyone but I don't do threats I said I don't ever threaten nobody and I was seriously joking, but you would be the first to know if I ever hear anything. I don't expose everybody. Okay? Now I have, and then I followed up because she was on my heart. The next day I sent her some messages and I was like, yo, <clears throat> I was like, yo, hey, you know, I, I apologize about that. Then she sends me a message from a number, right? That's disconnected, but she exposes the number and says that Tasha K is looking for wine on your man. I was like, what? 
So I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a real bitch. I called the number since she screenshot the number. The number says disconnected. So I'm like, who sent you this? Who sent you this? Somebody on your team sent you this message because how do they have your number? You see what I'm saying? And it just happens to say Tasha K is looking for wine on your man, and this is the reason why you had energy for me. And all you had to do is ask. You didn't have to come at me, but I'm like, girl, you're not married. You know what I'm saying? It's not like y'all got babies together or anything, and I didn't know that you were in a relationship because you're doing good keeping him off the blog. Just keep him off the blog. Same thing that this wife should have did. And she wouldn't be on here telling, trying to check women that are in the DM of this fine piece of specimen here. Somebody going to take his ass. Y'all remember that movie from Boys in the Hood? Oh, that's your man? Somebody going to take his ass. Now, let me tell you what they trying to take. Let me show you what they trying to take. Go ahead. Man, can't pick me up in a whole still Look. pajama Look. suit. Look. Look. The cheese. Oh. One song oh. that is going to describe your whole oh. outfit. Up in a whole silk pajama suit. Say cheese. cheese. Have no. one song that is gonna describe your whole Tino. outfit. Tino. I don't think they got no kids. Can't have no kids put no videos up like that. It must be a good fault. Why are you putting your baby daddy? That ain't got done. That he used to make kids. His kids gonna watch the videos one day, girl. Mm-hmm. You cute. You real cute. He married you. But you don't made him a celebrity because he don't touch the K now. Mm -hmm. Let's roll the other video. Go back to her fussing. Go back to Tana, Tana fussing. I was debating about putting my husband back on my social media. Like, I'm getting real sick and tired. Like, you want to share your family, show them how fun. Like, let people know in the real world that, you know, just don't settle. There's real men and there's good daddies and everything out there. But it's a dis disrespect from the females. <laughs> The females, they be in your comments, oh, I, I love y'all together, but then hop in my husband DM. Ooh. Like, it's crazy. Like, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna see it. Like, I'm not gonna see it. Like, but it's, it's, the, the amount of people is ridiculous. Like, oh, oh you're a good father. You a, you a, you, you're a good dad, a good provider, a good husband. Well, if you're a good husband, why the hell you in my husband DM? Play the video one more time of him in the pajamas. Man, can't pick me up in a whole silk pajama suit. <laughs> Say cheese. Stop it. One song that is going to describe your whole outfit. <laughs> Tana. Like I said, this was no shade or anything to Kendra G. I just kind of wanted to explain my position here because people be taking me wrong, and I really mean this shit from a great place. There is no reason why this fine-ass man is being advertised by his wife like this on social media, and then you mad that the consumers are trying to buy? Girl, women are conditioned to be sister wives. Do you understand? They will be proud side chicks. And I really feel the only reason she trying to put that ponytail up but can't get it, she couldn't get it. She, cause she was just like, she ready to fight. It's because she, she wanted to fight him, but she can't because you put him out there, girl. And now you're trying to control the energy that you brought into your house. Keep your man off my block. Oh, Beyonce. You better tell it at all. Okay? Mm-hmm. Now, I... I'm not gonna lie to you. I really like this look on Beyonce. Yeah, it did give Kim Kardashian with the blonde... The, the dress and everything. It looked like it was a Skims dress. But it was nice to see Beyonce in something else. I got tired of the Tina Knowles hairstyle because she was wearing her hair just like a mama. You know what I'm saying? She was starting to age like a mama, you know? And I'm like, Beyonce, come on now, girl. You look, yeah, yeah, Beyonce. You know? And so, you know, everybody was coming for her. Even Nick Cannon was like, don't y'all try Beyonce like that. Don't even try to come for her. But, you know, after Beyonce said... It took years for me 
to be able to not give a damn about what anybody says about me. I don't care. I'm doing it my way, on my time, on my dime. Who cares if y'all like it and don't like it? What I'm trying to figure out is why Tina knows is always out here giving smoke to people about your daughter, about your granddaughter. What are you, the Yelp uh, uh, reviewer? I don't understand why we got a paragraph long. Hold on for a second. Not Cube has been unfaithful. Wait a minute. Oh, boy. See, this is stuff that goes down on TashaKLive.com. Why somebody just emailed me and said, Cube has been unfaithful. We're not going to do this today. We not, I got to verify this, okay? Keep, I'm going to keep my head on the swivel. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll, we'll, re we'll circle that back. I told you, I'm going to be asking. I just, maybe I should have never put them up here. That's, it's my fault. I, I can't even, I can't even celebrate nobody. Don't nobody want to celebrate nobody no more. They're like, uh-uh, Tasha, no, no, no. Cube, you better hope these receipts don't check out, okay, brother? I, I, I hate to do it. 31 years, but she ain't going to leave you anyway. I would. 31 years, ain't nobody going nowhere. Bring that bitch to the back. See what Jada doing. Jada protecting her check. Okay, back to Beyonce mama. Now, all of us, I just don't understand, okay, why you have to do paragraph-long dissertations about Beyonce. If Beyonce says she don't give a damn, why should you? You came for me when it came to Blue Ivy. You come for the world. You're always in the comment section. She giving me Lynette. Lynette be doing this. Lynette be in the comment section. If y'all know my mama Instagram, you know when she in the comment section. And I get it. I'm her daughter. But at the same time, I can't save her when they put her out. I can't save her when she on somebody else's channel and she be in docs. What am I supposed to do? Okay? Now, she says, I came across this today and decided to post it after seeing all the stupid, ignorant, self-hating, racist statements about her lightening her skin. Oh, ain't nobody say that. It's a filter. Beyonce always been light bright. Okay? Uh, and wearing platinum hair, wanting to be white. She does a film called The Renaissance where the whole theme is silver, with silver hair, silver silver carpet. Oh, it's a lot to be reading. I'm already exhausted. Just put it in a video. Okay, and suggested silver attire and bozos decide that she's trying to be a white woman and is bleaching her skin. The fact that she's using bozos is stupid and ignorant. You a grandmama, Tina. Come on. Now, how sad is it that some of her own people continue the stupid narrative with the hate and jealousy? Does she wore silver hair to match her silver dress as a fashion statement? Clown. Alien superstar, duh. What's really sad is the white woman had the audacity to reach out to Neil, Beyonce's hairstylist. She was from TMZ to say that the fans are saying that she wants to be white and she wanted to get a statement about it from, from Neil. Well, that made my blood boil that this white woman felt so entitled to discuss her blackness. Tina! What's really disappointing is that some black people, yes, you bo bozos that's on social media, lying and faking and acting like you're so ignorant that you don't understand that the black woman, the black women have worn platinum hair since Etta James days. I just went and looked at it <clears throat> and looked at all the beautiful, talented black celebrities who have worn platinum hair. And it's just been about every one of them from time to time. Are they all trying to be white? I'm sick and tired of people attacking her every time she does something that works her ass off, or is in a statement of her work ethic, talent, and resilience. Here, you sad little haters come out of the woodwork. Jealousy and racism, sexism, double standards. You perpetuate the things instead of celebrating a sister or just ignoring if you don't like her. I'm sick of you losers. I know that she is going to be pissed at me for doing this. But I'm fed up. This girl minds her own business. She helps people whenever she can. She lifts up and promotes black women and underdogs all the time. Continue. Beyonce, you need to get your mom on. Beyonce, your mama is kind of ruining your brand a little bit. She divorcing people for no reason. She following you around. She's like a bulldog. Your brand is clean. You understand people are going to love you and they are going to hate you. The same with the blue eyed thing. She can dance. She can't dance. People should be allowed to review. 
Tina, this is how you know Tina ain't got no man. Tina, man, where is your man? Uh, Jesus! This is why her man ain't around. Tina and everybody business but her own. She got the white, they call her white woman because of you. Look at how you act. Karen. Blind hair, this woman is a replica of you and she trying to undo from being like you. That's why she bleached her hair. She in between. God damn, Tina. I wish somebody, mama, grandmama. Hell, I'm the same way though. Shit. <laughs> but still, Tina, it ain't that serious, okay? Beyonce made almost a billion dollars. Why are you on the internet in a long rant? Don't you got something to do? You got grandkids, and you got ones that they don't even claim. Still trying to see who that little girl was that was sitting beside Blue on the picnic bench that was eating ice cream. Can you tell us that in a post? Can you tell us what happened in the elevator? Please? When a billion dollars go down in the elevator? Can you tell us something? Matter of fact, can you be out here advocating for Solange for once? I ain't never seen her cuss nobody out about Solange. It sounded like you got favorites here. Tina, can you just be a grandmama and a wife? And a mother, because it doesn't seem like you're being good at any of them. That's why your wife, your husband ain't around. Your grandkids, they'll figure it out. And Beyonce, you said it, she's going to be pissed at you. These people, these same people that's calling her a white woman, do it, and they pay her a billion dollars to say it. Moving on. You know, this is really the reason why we need to stay out of people's business. I said that the other day. I said, sometimes I just need to stay out of people's business. Because we don't watch these two, Tommy and Tamar, fight over this white man here, okay? And after Tamar met him on a reality show, Ben told you the man was clout chasing. The man apparently got five black kids with flat five, five black women. Some ch- I don't know. He, he's a habitual black woman baby maker, Okay. Now, he ain't no dad be dad because they say he, you know, he orders women off a of tender that happen to be nannies and at the same time hoes. You know, they do it for both. Uh, but JR, they say he's a trick around Atlanta. He got lawyer money to trick with. And so after he came out to announce that him and Tamar weren't together anymore, and I was like, why do you need to say anything? Because he used her platform to help push his business. To say that he ain't, I'm seeing him post all the time. You know, on, oh, if you're a truck driver, if you're this, if you slipped and fall in the mall, call me, okay? If you slipped and fell on some dick, call me. <laughs> like, JR, shit. You know, like, he's doing, you know, enough, and he's got a platform for it. But for you to call a woman that you know that she's beefing with and invite the woman to the basketball game, okay, and then that woman starts to fight with Tamar, you're sitting in the middle like, oh, okay, I got two black women fighting over me. Tamar throwing jabs at them. We got two black women that really don't even have beef with each other beefing over somebody that don't want now one of them. Only for Tamar to go back? Where the video? Less than a week later, after we all rallying for her, throwing shots... JR was, he was the one that invited Tommy only to say, Tamar, can you come back? Clout, look at him, look. She said, that's her man. See, if you're going to get a white man, get a white man. This is a white man that feels like he's a black man trapped in a white man's body, which means you're going to get at Gary Owen. We talked about this. Didn't we talk about this with Gary Owen? We just said this. Gary Owen is like, you know, he yes, he's white, but everything about him is black. All of his friends are black. He acts black. He doesn't have relationships with his kids. That's very black, you know. JR got five kids by five different black women. That's very black. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Chains on with black people's money that he's getting 
while he's using both of these women as platforms to help carry his his law firm. Mm hmm. But see, this is why we need to mind our business when it comes to these relationships. And this is why you don't tell your girlfriend, you don't tell people to leave people. You don't tell them nothing. You just give them your advice, but never tell them what to do. You give them your advice, but never tell them what to do. Okay? You be like, so this is what I think. However, the decision is up to you. Because at the end of the day, they're always going to choose. Go ahead. Well, they're going to go back. That's, I'm, I'm sure everybody got a best friend like Tamar. They're going to go back. After the weekend she had with Krishan, she was horny. It ain't safe out here, especially in Atlanta, where she had to go back to what she knew. <laughs> and so she just called him up and was like, and you know, women don't want men until somebody else want them. So that's another reason why she got her ass back over there. You know, we're conditioned to be side bitches and mistresses and stuff like that. Happily. It's always competition. You don't never see men doing this. At all. Okay? Moving on. All right. Trigger warning. Okay? Um, I am affiliated with these two. So this is Boot Gang. Y'all remember Boot Gang? We used to run out here on cars. Be like, Boot Gang! And mess up restaurants. Okay? We did an interview with Boot Gang some months ago. Matter of fact, it was over a year ago, I think. In Jacksonville, we actually went to Jacksonville, and we wanted to get his full story, like on on what type of childhood did he have for him to be such a badass kid, right? And you know, he sat down with me for three hours, and he un he he unwinded all. Okay, he drank the wine, he saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. Now, uh, turned his life around, went from being on drugs real bad to now got his, got his apartment. He's a full time father, but he has these underlying issues with his mother because he feels that his mother was the reason why he um was subjected to the life that he, you know, he felt like he had to live at the time. But now he's, everything is about God. Everything is about God. And so when he spoke to me, <clears throat> he said some things about his mother, you know, saying that his mother, do we have that? Okay, let's go ahead and roll this clip real quick. Go ahead. I plotted to kill my mom. I was probably like 16. We had stayed in Orange Park. And my mom was like, how y'all know I don't plot, I don't plan to kill y'all? She used to watch this show. They show nothing but moms. Like, they they had enough and they killed their whole family. Mm. And she'd be like, how y'all know I don't be plotting to kill y'all when y'all sleep? Just go in the room and blow y'all effing heads. Oh, wow. Uh, blow y'all effing heads off. She bought a gun. She bought a gun and she was like, this y'all disciplinary, not nah, no more belts. So she just said, instead of beating y'all, she waved a gun around saying she was gonna use that. Yeah, discipline with that gun, yeah. All six of y'all? Mm-hmm. But stuff like that is terrifying. Of like, course, the what, the what kind of? Yeah, especially out of the kid. I'm pretty sure her motive was like, I'm gonna scare them straight and like put a type of fear in me, like, well, I'm like, I gotta kill her. Okay. Now, in that interview, it's an extended version. It is on TashaKLive.com. But did we actually put it out over here? I don't think so. Okay, it's still on TashaKLive.com. However, he did talk about his mom, you know, abusing him, allegedly, like, uh, choking his sister out, his six-year-old sister, beating his dad, all types of stuff. He's even sent me, you know, police uh, police reports and everything that she filed or the dad filed on her. And um, she was very angry and triggered by this interview. <clears throat> so much so she came to sit down with us. Let's go ahead and play a snippet of her interview that's on TashaKLive.com in its entirety, okay? Let's go. Unfortunately, your name was brought up during an interview we did with your son. Everyone knows him as Boonk Gang or Boonk, John Gabbano. I, I wasn't even prepared for him to bring up um, your, you, you know, the relationship between you and him and how he was brought up. And he did make some really, really kind of egregious allegations that like you were abusive, you, you know, abused all of your kids. Kids, you choked your daughter. You, you know, I think it was at one point he said you knocked Thank one you. of his teeth out or mm -hmm. something. And, um, you know, your kids, two of your kids ended up stabbing you. Mm -hmm. You did confirm that on social media that you were stabbed by your one of them. One of them. Mm -hmm. So remember when he was saying, I call him, I watch all his interviews. Yes. And I call him afterwards and say, why do you say this? Why do you? And he tells me he can only tell it from his perspective. And I will tell him 
that's not true. Why are you saying these things? And it didn't happen that way. Are you, it happened, but you switched it. So that's what he was saying. That's why he told you he could only tell it from his perspective. But that's why he stopped you because he knew I was watching. Mm -hmm. And that's why he say, hold on. Let me just say this to my mom. Mom, I love you. And you're a good mom. You're a great mom. But I'm going to tell it from my perspective. I knew when he said that, I say, okay, now let's see what's going to happen. He went on and on, said I met my husband, ex-husband online. None of it's true. Okay, okay. He, and the stuff that is true, he made it seem as if I was this big, bad woman just beating on them. No, we're going to clear everything. Now, she contacted me after he did the interview. And I told him, I said, listen, when you bring up certain people in an interview, now, yes, we were there to to kind of unwind your life because you you made a lot of noise on social media. If anybody was following those boot gang pages, I mean, he had kids out here mimicking what he was doing. It was so bad. And he was going to jail. And surprisingly, in that interview, he revealed some things that just kind of even threw me for a loop. You know, that he was homeless at the time, you know, and stuff like that. Hell, we even just talked to Selena Powell yesterday, and you're going to be shocked when you see her interview on TashaKLive.com. She out here sleeping with all these celebrities, but you will never know what was actually going on behind the scenes. I just sat there and, like, gasped. Like, girl, are you serious? Now, if you you familiar with Selena Powell, you do know the Black Widow, and she's taking down every celebrity that we know, okay? Um, and so she was very transparent about it all, and she for the first time, she unwind her her background and things like that, because that's what we do over here. We like to humanize people, okay? And so I reached out to him after he did his interview. I said, now, listen, you brought your mama up. You, br you brought up some pretty heavy allegations against her. It's only uh, right for me to give her a platform to speak her mind. And when I met her, she seemed very, very level-headed. She seemed caring. She seemed nurturing. The only thing she wanted to do was clear her name, because at the end of the day, they both still live in Jacksonville, Okay, they all have the same friends, they all have the same family, and everybody's watching this, okay? And so she has a right to speak just like he has a right to speak. And and bottom line, I want to know the motherfucker that raised him to be that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, that's your child. You train a child in which you wanted to go. Now, lately, I've been following her social media, and I could kind of tell something was brewing behind the scenes because he just randomly sent me a police report and all these charges that she had from years ago. Okay, and he said, please put these out, but don't attach me to it and everything. I'm like, what are you talking about? How the hell I'm just going to randomly pull your mom's background report from the 80s and 90s and 2000s and shit? Like, no, I'm, I'm, that's not what I'm about to do. So as I'm, I'm watching on social media, I'm on his page, I'm on her page. She appeared in some music video with a rapper. She's doing a hook and stuff. Like, she, it, it's not like, it's not giving what any, I guess, 40 or 50-year-old woman would be doing. Like, she's actually doing the hook on a rap song, rapping. Like, it was it was weird. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, this is different. I said, but okay. But then when I saw her upload this video here, I said, oh, my God. Now, this came right after he sent me the police report on her background to kind of prove that what he said about her in the interview was true. Now, I wasn't there, so I'm still going to see a ledge. But after I saw her upload this video on her own son, after her and I had a talk, a heart-to-heart -heart talk, and I gave it a platform, I literally gasped because this man actually revealed. I'll tell you what he revealed in the interview. Go ahead. I'm not honor thy mother and thy father. You ain't honor me. You ain't honor me. If you was in my goddamn face, I'll rock your sh And you know I'm with this. You know I'm with this. I'll pay this. You know I'm with this. Huh? You know I'm with this. You trying me now? Keep on trying. Keep on trying. Talk about I, uh, any mother would do this. What mother? I stay quiet for six mother years, boy. I stay quiet. Why? All of a sudden now come out and say something. Why? 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 Why would I say something? Because you know them private conversations that me and you hate. The devil is a lie. You a devil in disguise, you snake. You a snake ass boy. Be careful who you have children with. Like father, like son, baby. Full throttle. Full throttle. Lying ass. And you a goddamn woman beater. You a goddamn woman beater like your father. Boy, you ain't. Just the way I should have swallowed your ass. I should have swallowed you and tried again with the next 
next one. Damn ass lag. You don't honor me. You don't honor That's why your ass going to suffer. Everything you do to me is going to come back on you. I gave you life. Keep playing. Keep playing with me. You was in my face, boy. What how I feel now? If you was in my face, I'll rock your boy. And you know I would. I'm with I'm with this Lying ass self. I don't have to lose. I don't have to lose. That's you that have to lose. Not Simona. Not Simona. Simona don't have to lose by telling the truth. What? Lying ass boy. Boy, you, I've been a fighter my whole life, baby. I've been a fighter my whole life. I had to fight. Pop. Had my stick with me. Would do that. Pull up on the minute. I'm with that, baby. But I had mercy on you because you was my child. Now it's no mercy. No surrender. No retreat. None. No mercy for the mercy. Less, baby. Yeah, you want it? You want to talk? I'm going to keep and I'm going to keep saying And I'm going to keep going. You a smart boy. My, there ain't no goddamn way I would ever lie on my mother and father and drag it. And you got, you use a platform, baby. You use a platform to lie on your mother. Use a. Now we edited that video. If we had left the cuss words in there, it really would have like. It still gives me chills because that's not the woman that I interviewed. That is not the woman that I interviewed. And when I saw that video upload, and I kind of, like I said, I kind of knew something was brewing. And we did their interviews like last year. We haven't even really posted them. I only posted like maybe 30 minutes of his interview, but his interview was almost three hours long. But for her to do that, and I'm like, I get that your kid is out here lying, but he's a child. Like he's a child. This triggered me. I ain't even gonna lie. This, this, I think a lot of y'all probably did get triggered. Um, and he said that he wanted to sit on a platform with a godly mediator to mediate this. And I've offered them my platform to do this with a pastor of their choice because at the end of the day, they still are mother and son. Now, what she was talking about in that video, because it was alleged that he was beating on Woe Vicky. It was alleged, and she had gotten close to Woe Vicky. And she was just like, listen, I, you know, I'm sorry about what my son did. Um, and she kind of took Woe Vicky under her, you know, under her wing. I kind of knew somebody was in Woe Vicky's ear because I did an interview with Woe Vicky, and she seemed to be... Not herself. Remember, very, very timid, and she kept talking about somebody is, um, you know, in her life that that is teaching her about God, and it was just real different. And I was like, "Well, I don't think this is a good relationship." But turns out, she even came out and publicly said that he hit her. Now, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see this man hit this woman or anything like that. Um, however, I I think this is why the mom is like, "Listen, I made you. I take you out." But I'm like, at the end of the day, like, that's your damn son. Like, that's your son. And for you to say you should have swallowed him, you shouldn't have had him on a public platform, he's, he's a product of you. Everything that he's doing is honestly because of you. When I heard, and she told me, and he told me that one of the other kids stabbed her. And I saw that video, I would have been afraid for my life too. I can honestly see why her kids would stab her. The way she was like, I ain't got nothing to lose. I will rock you. You know I keep the stick with me. I done pulled up on people before in the past. I will pull up on you. There's no honor. You honor thy mother and father. And I'm like, what? We the adults. I don't care if he over 18. This man done, done battle drug addiction, jail, brokenness, all because of the decisions we make as, as mothers and as fathers. But for you to tell the world that you will rock your child, 
All because he's lying on you, let him lie. The truth will come out. Let him lie. Just disown the child. And you just continue to go sing rap hooks. Pull up with sticks. This, this is not a, Simona, I'm going to be honest with you, like, this shit ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't giving what it's supposed to give at all. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. And he ain't got on no platform to act like this. And everything that he described you as, I saw that in that video. And I'm going to be honest with you, I was scared. I was scared. And I could honestly see why your kids would stab you. It was a demon. You, did you see her eyes? It was black. Move it on. Now, in fake news, oh, sorry, real quick, we got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass to. Don't forget, right after this video, okay, we're heading over to TashaKLive.com for... This explosive interview. Let's go. You are the wife of NBA star Joe X Smith. Joe Smith. Yes. Okay. We're going to call you Kiss. Is that your artist name? Yes. Do you use that on OnlyFans as well too? Okay. I was a porn star from the years of 1989 to 2006. AIDS was rampant around this time. Everyone thinks that because you're a porn star, you're super promiscuous and that, you know, mm -hmm. you have a high body count. <laughs> I, I ain't never seen nobody pump their husband the way you did. I have an OnlyFans page and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course I'm mad if you just find but it on the body. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself, so why should I have to tell it. you my choice, my body, my body, my fucking choice? How, how did you and Joe meet? We met in Los Angeles um, in 2012 at a BET Awards party. So he was playing basketball at the time? No, he wasn't. Oh, he was? It was before? No, this is after basketball. After basketball? Yes. I don't know why I thought you met him. Everyone, that's the that's a preconception right there, or a misconception that I was with him while he was playing ball. I'm not. I was not that wife. So he's retired? Yes. Okay, was he getting retirement checks when you met him? Um, no, there, it doesn't work like that. Why? And then Monique Slaughter, she stole $100,000 from him. She was dating him prior to me. Loving hip hop, Monique? Yes. Um, Monique's Monique. Monique's Monique. Got a baby by a little fizz. Monique's the thief. How the hell did that go down? And then I even have her on a recording saying, I can tell you how I got the money. So you're in a relationship with Kid, and then you fuck play? It was whack as fuck. Dick is trash. Got a little ass dick. Like I, like I fucked up good dick for a whack dick. Whose life did you ruin? And nobody else's. <laughs> um, I was fucking with Pac for a little bit. Tupac? Yes. But not like his Whoa. girl. Just, you know, we boned every now and then. I met you him. You was fucking with Pac. Now Jada is finna lose her shit. Yeah. Tupac's widow is finna lose her fucking shit. Was you okay? The dick first was of all, good. I'm trying to figure <laughs> the dick out why was she, good, and he, he Tupac got some good ass. dick. Yes. <laughs> Jada swears that Tupac was with her. No. And I'm like, no, he had a fiance. He was with Keisha, and I was the other Keisha. And he probably was smashing around that time. But Jada was also fucking MC Light around that time. Let's talk about it at the catch, honey. Whoa. Gave them there together. Whoa. So, yes, ma'am. Whoa, what the hell just happened? You're saying that you know Jada Pinkett Smith. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it at the catch. Yes, ma'am. We went out to LA, okay? And we was up. <laughs> we was in LA for a whole week, turned down the city. I should have just got a drink at a bar. I told everybody on social media where I was at and tell them the, the chair is open, comes down there and sit down. They was just ready to tell. Let me tell you how bad she was ready to tell. I literally shouted her out on Wednesday when I was in LA when we did our live show. I said, somebody get me this lady. I cannot find her. That lady was in my DM. She was in my email. That same night, she drove from Las Vegas to LA to do that interview. And I didn't pay her nothing. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Everybody else talking about what she did with her husband. I was like, hold up, girl. Wait a minute. I need your pass, honey. I know you was doing, I hear you was, you was throwing the snatch and people was catching it. Okay. What did you see? Who did you know? What did you do? And she told it all. When I tell you this interview is so jaw-dropping that y'all are going to watch on TashaKLive.com tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you better have your subscriptions. And like I said, if I see anybody out here, because I be in my DM, 
I check everything. I check the emails. I check everything. I be on YouTube. I be on the small YouTube channel. If I see you streaming this stuff, we striking. We interrupting the money. I'm sorry. You interrupted mine. I'm going to interrupt yours. Mm -hmm. All right. <sighs> Can't wait till that premieres. All right. Now, real quick, in fake news, Crystal and Safari. Now, we unveiled some pictures that we were sent of Crystal and Safari allegedly sleeping with each other. Okay. Now, here's what I got last night. Crystal has a reality show that's being produced by Carlos King on WeTV. Now, Crystal is not marketable at all. She's not lead cast material or anything. And so they need something in order to get the conversation going. And they use my platform to do it. Like, I wasn't going to find out. You sent me pictures for me to post and didn't think I was going to find out that y'all was faking a relationship. That's why Erica ain't saying nothing because it's for a check and her check is gone right now. So she gonna let Safari work. Safari moves around from franchise to franchise. He ain't locked into no damn contract. He's a free agent. And so if he got to boost views and popularity for this bitch that don't nobody want that, that Neo found in the strip club, he gonna do what he got to do for a check. Now, I don't know the name of the reality show, but I do know Carlos King put them together. And so them pictures that we have out on social media were leaked and leaked to me on purpose, hoping that I would not find out that this was a ploy to generate interest in this boring-ass reality show that Crystal Renee is going to do with her boring-ass personality. She's C-cast, not A-cast. She's not a Portia Williams. She's a Crystal Renee. If y'all give a damn, stay tuned. Carlos, sorry, baby. It's fake. Moving on. All right, now, again, okay? Now, I know for those of y'all, if you're on TashaKLive.com, you've seen this interview. If you want to watch it again, you can watch it again. It is only a portion of this interview, okay? We're not going to be putting out the extended versions of the interviews on YouTube no more. No more. Okay, that, that Bilal was the last of the Mohicans. <laughs> okay? So, for those of y'all that did not get a chance to see a portion of the Sydney Star interview that I did, okay, and I did this on behalf of Now That's TV. You guys know that I hosted the Deja Vu Season 2 reunion on NowThat'sTV.net. NowThat'sTV.net. I know you guys have probably seen the clips floating around of the trans women versus me, okay? And so... After we had that reunion, there was so much going on. I brought the cast in to sit them down to interview them. And we really got into some harsh, harsh, harsh realities, okay? We do real TV. We do real news over here. Now that's TV.net does real news as well, too. Real TV, okay? And so even though it's brutal, but I, I kind of like the honesty, you know, of it all. And I like that even though they was fighting like cats and dogs, I could still sit down with these people regardless of how they felt about the things that I was saying to them at the reunion that I was contracted to host, Tasha K style. They said, you be Tasha K. Well, say no more. I was going to do that any damn way. I don't know what to say, bitch. I don't know. Who else can I be? <laughs> makeup or no makeup? <laughs> you want me to dress up? Okay. Okay, cool. Because <laughs> I will come out there and I'm going to move. Don't play with me in a do-rag. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So Cindy Starr and I had a chance to sit down Okay, we sat down for almost two hours. What you're going to see here is a 32-minute portion of this interview, okay? And us discussing some things that's been going around on social media, all right? And so, um, you know, the trans community is very upset with me right now. That's okay. That's okay. You got to be upset with someone. You only, when, you, when you're upset with somebody, it's because you love them. And they love me. And I love them. But I don't love the disrespect, okay? And so without further ado... I introduce to you Sydney Star X Tasha K. Stick around after this because we got something else we got to talk about. And then we're going to head over to TashaKLive.com at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? I give you guys Sydney Star with a little TS Medicine on the side. Let's go. Not you got a choo-choo train as the fucking breaker. 
Sydney Star. Duh, choo choo. Now you know they finna drag your ass for sitting with me now. Yeah, you know what? And I'm doing this because I'm just gonna do this for the community. You're doing it for the community? They sit you down here? Yeah. Now they sent the other two to put my ass. Nah, I'm gonna do this for me in a good way and for them. But Tasha, you are a complete bitch. Oh! Not in my studio! I know, but go ahead. Keep you, going. You make you piss us off. Okay. And I know T.S. Madison is going to text me because, you know, we're very She close. can sit down, too. I have to get her two chairs, though. You fucked with my big sis. Now, I need you to suck 20 dicks from the back, you dumb-ass bitch. You want to try to talk about our community. You really are jealous of us. You're jealous because what? we look better. We have better titties. What? You're walking around with the saggy. Ooh. Social media, um, this shit the fuck up. Look, I feel like when someone talks so bad about something or someone or a group of people, you want to be us. I'm finna call my sister. I hope call her. Know. You call yours. I, she might not. She cause she don't. She. I bet you she ain't gonna answer. Yeah. Sis, I just cussed this bitch out. Yep. I just cussed she did. Her out. She did. Cause that I'm 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 really not having it. She did. I'm not having she it. She cussed me out and she did. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You want to come sit down and Madison, cuss me out? Madison, I just cussed this bitch out for you on wanna, your behalf. You want to come sit down and cuss me out, too? Bitch, you're not that girl. I am. No I'm one, a girl. No one I'm not you. that girl. I'm a girl. Nobody likes you. Everybody yourself. loves me. That's no. why you sit in here. No, but that's Tasha. why you sit in here. Give me no. the phone. No, 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 Nobody phone. likes you, bitch. Give me the phone. When, when you coming to sit down to iron shit out? You asked me what my pressure was. Okay, so let's discuss the pressure. So you you lie. I just want to let you know you live. I just want to let you know because we are recording. So go ahead. I'm I'm, I'm good. Okay. Okay. With it being live. Okay. Cool. No reason for us to discuss nothing with the pressure because you had all the opportunity. No, I didn't have all the opportunity. I didn't. I didn't. Ts. I didn't. We didn't. And and listen, listen. You was traveling the world, and I was standing up for my black women. Go ahead, baby. Listen, first of all, I'm still traveling. First of all, I'm still traveling the world because I'm that bitch. Do you? Okay. Not a bitch, that bitch. But go ahead. Go ahead. The disrespect. It ain't no disrespect. I have a problem with her. (laughs) I have a problem with her. Look, child. Go ahead. I'm still traveling the world. If you had a problem. You had my number just like the rest of the motherfucking people had. Uh huh. We wasn't even in that space. But, I, you ain't you ain't had to never stand up for no black women because I ain't never disrespected no black women. Uh, T S T S. We not gonna say that now. We not gonna say that. I could pull plenty of footage. I never disrespected no black. I don't. T S T. First of all, the rules be. Black women that come to see me yeah, they do. They do. They do. And I want you to always remember that. I want you to always remember that when these niggas ain't out here taking up for you. Which, I do, because when you get up on your platform and use it irresponsibly to say that black women who are putting money in your pocket and putting you in spaces that you were never in because you had to sell dick to download niggas, okay? You have to always show respect. We're mother. We're mother. We're not transphobic, but you're not going to disrespect us and say that we're jealous because we're labeled as trans women. We're not trans women. We're, we're women, T.S. We're women. We didn't have to buy it. Give me the phone. <laughs> babe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babe. But just, but just know I... I cussed this hoe out. Like she did. Called, so she cussed me out. I cussed her out. She did. Let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Put her voice to the mic so they can hear. I don't never have to disrespect no black. She's not the representation of no black women. Oh, yes, I am, because I was born a black woman just like your damn mama, just like your sisters and your cousins and everybody that oh. watches you. A joke, Madison. I ain't no She's joke. A joke. She's a joke. She's a joke. I came because I wanted to laugh. Come laugh. You shouldn't even be sitting with that dirty ass bitch. Oh, give me the phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Uh Uh-uh, give me the phone. Give me the phone. That's all you can say. That's all you can say is dirty ass bitch. You can't have no intelligent conversation. The only thing dirty is your asshole from all them dicks. You had the motherfucking, you had the motherfucking. 
motherfucking put in there to pay them goddamn bills that you still struggling to pay. But you want to know something? Okay? I know my sister can pay if she, she's working. She can't play she Cardi. Is. She more Not with no you. above ground pool. She got more That bitch can't things. pay. No, she don't. She cannot pay part Cardi with no above ground motherfucking pool that's supposed to be at a trailer park. Don't play with me, T.S. I definitely. Don't play with me. I definitely think Madison And you not going to tell me to bow down to a bitch that I made. That's just what it's going to be. I'm sure Madison I has. made you. I'm sure. Your mama made you. Tasha, Tasha, hold on now. Don't play with I me. will tell you this. I'm pretty sure Madison has way more money no, than you. No, she don't. Because, baby, way more. And wh- Okay, with well, that money, so that asshole up. That she had to trick out. Because niggas, would, niggas didn't want to walk in the Applebee's with you. Girl, don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Yeah, you got a big dick that ain't nobody fucking claiming on the internet. Not even the motherfucking black women that you claim support you. Ain't nobody claiming that shit, Maddie. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Okay, go Madison, ahead. Get it I'm going to handle the rest. I'm going to handle the rest. She got it. She I'm got it from I'm here. I'm going to text you when I leave from she here. She got the courage to say what the I'm, fuck she got to say to my face. You don't. So you keep traveling the world on them motherfucking Ryan Air tickets. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Yes, yeah, she said when you kiss your husband, you're sucking her dick. Oh. Period. Period. <laughs> Period, sis. Okay. Let this hoe have it. Second. Let this hoe have it. Let me have it, Let Maddie. Let have it. Let me have it, Maddie. Go ahead. Let me have it. Say it again, Maddie. Maddie. You said what, what you had to say. say I'm not going to put it to the but mic. Ain't, but just, ain't nobody jealous of that black necrosis ass that you got that you can't sell no more. And that's why you around the world pandering to black women trying to say that you are a black woman and you will never be. That's just on that. Now. You do? That's why you bought it. You do? That's why you bought it. Can you bring some more wine in my studio, please? Can you bring some more wine in my studio? Thank you. I'm gonna call. I'm sorry I even had you worked up like this. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just needed you to know that I was here. You get your money. Still ain't fucking renovated that basement, bitch. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> I know your motherfucking team in my DM asking for jobs, bitch, because you ain't paying them. I know your motherfucking team in my DM asking for jobs, bitch, because that you ain't paying them. Don't make me release no. Don't make me release no DMs, bitch. They say you ain't paying them over there. They say you ain't got it either, bitch. Okay, no, we're not pulling shit because I don't own a house. I don't have anything. I ain't got it. You pull the equity out of the house. You pull the equity out of that fucking house. You probably ain't got none because that motherfucker ran the fuck down. (laughs) Couldn't he put my baby on the floor? Look what you just did. Look what I do, bitch. Yeah, okay, bitch. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. Maddie, listen, I will drop the address to the studio. You can come gladly say this to my face. You can come sit down. That mic is open. I know. Fuck us all. That's what you want to. We ain't got no money to pay you. We ain't got no money to pay you, Maddie. She said, she said, fuck your dick sucking ass husband. I know. (laughs) Okay, bitch. But the fact remains, bitch, you'll never be a bitch. Now, you, bitch, that's why you went and bought it. That's why you went and bought it. I'm proud to be nappy headed. I got my real hair, bitch. You bought some hair. I got my real hair, bitch. You bought some hair. You brought the lips. You brought the cheeks. You brought them botched ass titties. You brought that black ass necrosis ass. Okay, you don't know what my pussy tastes like, bitch, because ain't nobody on the internet trying yours. Ooh. Maddie, we're done here. Maddie, we're Maddie. done here. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to. She gonna handle it. She gonna handle it. Uh huh. I'm. She got you, Maddie. She got you, Maddie. I don't have it. I don't have it, Maddie. I don't have it, bitch. I ain't got it. But I got womanhood. I got womanhood. Yes, I do. Bleed, bleed, bleed. 
Bleed. Bleed. Don't bust a blood vessel trying to bleed now. Don't bust a blood vessel trying to bleed now. Don't bust a blood vessel trying to bleed like us now. Pipe down. Pipe down. You real disrespectful. Real disrespectful. Remember, I'm mother. I'm mother. I'm mother. Nah, you going to keep it cute with my... With my, with my. You <laughs> no. not with you got now now I'm getting mad. Now I'm getting mad. You can get mad. Now I'm getting mad. You can get mad. Because Madison has done so much for to the you, community. For you. And for you. For you to disrespect. But for, but for her you've been disrespecting her for the longest. Yes, like, because we truly have a problem. It's, you stand up it's for like your community. It's like you're obsessed with her. And I'm going to stand up for my community. You're obsessed okay? with her. Obsessed with her. what? It's, it's giving obsession. Well, y'all, listen. Y'all keep that delusion. That's fine. I'm obsessed. I'm this. But what I will always stand for is the black woman and the real woman, okay? Exactly. We're done. I asked that. We're up. done. You ready to talk about deja vu? You ready to talk about your wig getting pulled off on deja vu? We're done here. We're done here. We're done. Thank you. Bye. We're we're done. Hang up the phone. Madison. We're done. We're got. She gotta go. Madison, we gotta go. We gotta go. Keep yelling, nigga. Keep yelling, nigga. You said tell your husband to help. I will. I sure will. He'll call you when we're done. He'll call Madison, you when we're I'm, done. Madison, I'm gonna call you when I leave out of here. Yeah. I'm she, almost. I'm. I'm tell that bitch. I said tell her. Tell your husband. Uh, okay. You tell him. Bitch, you tell him since you got his number, since you know him, you tell him. You call him and tell him, bitch. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, pass the message. Pass the message. Please tell him. Thank you. Have a good day. And, and, and while you at it, get, get one of them niggas that's been paying you on the down low that would kill you if you come out, okay? And, and snitch on their asses to claim you as a wife, bitch. Please do. Please do. I'm going to wait on it. I'm going to wait for you to put on a wedding dress, bitch. It'll never happen. It'll never happen. You're wearing a suit. You're going to be wearing a suit. Y'all said y'all don't need to be, but look at you. Yeah, you do. You want to. You want to. Wish you could come out of public and out some of them niggas you fucking on the down low to keep that mortgage. Put that on the mic. Put that on the mic. What you say again about my kids? What you say? What you say about my kids? Okay. Okay, bitch. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, bitch. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Give me your glass, Sydney. Give me your glass. <laughs> Give me and your in there. I took Oh, it God damn. <laughs> Bring me some more wine for Sydney, Dang. please. Look. Bring Daddy, me some more wine. Daddy, you did your thing. She did. I'm, I'm, I, I, I had did. to go for the I kids. I had to call her to read the fuck out of you. Yeah, she did. Because she good. She good. You not, you, you, mm -hmm. I'm here because of my community. I'm mm -hmm. not here to be your friend. Mm -hmm. Just so you know. I'm not. I know. Who asked you to be? Sydney, come on. Bring Sydney some more wine, please. You want some red wine? Okay. Hey, bring Sydney some more wine, please. We're almost done. Go ahead. Thank you, Maddie. Maddie. I'm going to text you when I get out of here. My Thank phone's you, Maddie. Die. I don't want it to hang up on you. Yeah, she got to preserve her battery. I'm going to text you. Love you, sister. I love you to death. I'm, I'm here. I'm fighting for us. I'm fighting for us. Fight. She on the front line. Love you. She on the front line. I don't give a <laughs> Bye. Put the phone. Bye, baby. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love. <laughs> she so, said, "Fuck you." I know. She wants to. Come on. You want to? I love you, sis. Ooh, that's why you asked Shakana for some pussy, bitch. You want some? That's why you asked Shekinah for some pussy, bitch. You trying to make do. You trying to make up for the black women you done offended. Don't play. That's why you asked Shekinah for some pussy. You trying to bridge the gap, bitch. You mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah. Maddie, I'm going to call, call you when I get out of here. I'm going to call you when I get out of here. I love you so much. You you are the queen. I love her, too. You are too. the queen. I love you her, too. All, and I will let everyone know you are the queen. You are my <laughs> my, my big sister. This lady has worked. She's, she's, she has, she has worked so hard for us. I'm right here, Maddie. She don't have to tell me shit. I'm right here. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. 
I'm right here. So what do you want to tell this hoe bitch? Well, I'm right here, Maddie. Let me put you on the mic. What you want to tell me? You, what, what you saying? God don't want you to say it because you're breaking up. <laughs> God don't want you to say it because you're breaking up. What? What is it, Maddie? Maddie, you're breaking up. It's breaking up because I live in the woods. Oh, I know. You live in a hole. Go ahead. Keep, keep going. You live in a hole. In the sewer. I said you live in the hole. I said you live in the hole. I didn't say you... <laughs> Go ahead, Maddie. Go ahead. I live in the woods. Yeah, hole. Hole. First of all, the pressure... No, I live in the woods. No, I live in the woods. Okay, go ahead. Say what you got to say. Say what you got to say. Where do you live? In that apartment building? Mm -hmm, I do. I live in an apartment. It's th three bedrooms. Okay, three bedrooms. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yep. Take your kids out there and bring you in the $8,000 $8, a month. Go ahead. Keep going. This, this is the thing. Keep going. Here's the thing. You, you, you jumped up with this pressure because you got a bill to pay. And you trying to use me to help you. Oh, uh, what? Maddie. Maddie, baby. We did one video you on you on YouTube. You don't give a fuck about... Maddie, we did one video on you. Okay, Maddie, let's okay, Maddie, Maddie, listen, listen, listen. And all and all Maddie, 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 Maddie. Real talk. Real talk. Okay. I'm not cussing y'all. I'm not doing that. Okay. I'm not doing that no more. If you really want to have a conversation, my chair is open. Okay. My, I, I will get you out here. Just let me know your flight details. We'll fly you in. Okay, where, just let. If you want, where, where you, where, 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 where do we need to have a conversation? But we where we at? No, 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 we ain't never where we no, at. We, we ain't never where we at. Everything can always be worked out, whether we can agree to disagree. No, listen, I, listen, you not a person that I need to work anything out. You don't have to work it out, but I'm extending the invitation. But for what reason? We, well, we but have. for what reason? Because we're not getting... Hold on, hold on. Baby, she don't want to sit in front of you. Hold on, she don't have to. She don't have to. You don't have to. But what she we're don't. doing is running in circles. You don't call me many bitches. I don't call you many. None bitches because you're not a bitch. When are we going to get to something? Do you want common ground or you do? You still want to keep dragging my kids? You want to drag my daughter that was born a daughter? You want to drag my son that's born a son? What does it solve, Maddie? If we're not going to solve anything, the conversation is over. I respect Sydney because she's, listen, she's strong enough to sit here to tell me to my motherfucking face instead of cussing me out and cussing my motherfucking kids out. That's grown. And she younger than you and she's younger than you and you supposed to be you supposed to be an elder in your community but all you want to do is say that black women are jealous of you i never i've never said that what what maddie i don't know who that is what maddie maddie you didn't say that we was jealous and we were angry because we're labeled as trans women you didn't say that maddie Maddie, I will find, listen, I, okay, hold on, hold on, hold, wait, 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 Maddie, wait, wait, okay, Maddie, I'm gonna have the viewers find it, matter of fact, I'm gonna put it in this, I'm gonna put it in this podcast, Maddie, I'm gonna remind you, right now you being very delusional, you being delusional, just say you don't remember, that black women are jealous of trans women, you said we were jealous because, listen, you said that we are all, my, Maddie, Maddie, did you not read your post? Go find it. Why do you think Go people were so angry with you? Go find it. Maddie, I will find it. Maddie, I will find it since you don't remember. I will find it for you, and I will find where you said. I will find where you said. Listen, listen, are, you gonna, are we going to talk or are we going to argue? Go find it. I am going to find it, Maddie, and saying that, oh, black women uh, are upset because we're cute. We, we're, we're being labeled as trans women, too? What? Go Maddie, no. That was irresponsible. No, I'm not. No, nobody's upset. Nobody's upset. Nobody's upset. Y'all are some very beautiful girls. Y'all are some very beautiful girls. But you piss us off. That's fine. And y'all piss us you off. You pissing us off. And you piss us off. We even. You're, but you Cheers. We even. You're on the out front. Though. Yes. Uh, listen. Least, I got a lot of black women in you're my in a, You're on a platform. That so. definitely agree. The girls that do it. With your attitude out here. Come on, Maddie. You got to remember, Tasha, you're on a platform. You're famous. And she's you know. on a platform, too. So when you piss the trans women off, yeah. they're going to they're gonna blame you. 
for everything. That's We're going to blame you for that's everything. That's fine. That's why I have the platform. It's the responsibility that comes with it. Maddie, I will find it. Listen, Maddie, I will find it. Listen, drag the kids, drag the husband into your back door, drag whoever you want to drag. But at the end of the day, the fact remains that black women or women in general, the least of our worries is being labeled being a trans woman and we are fucking women. Period. But you want to know the reason y'all get no. so mad at us? Why we, you know why we get mad? I'm, I'm a, no, let me you say why. Telling us why we I'm going to tell you the reason why okay. Why you and cis women, you, you We're not women. cis women. We're women. Cis we're not a part of the LGBTQ. Meaning that we're women. you guys have, were born with females. No, we're I'm women. I'm going to tell y'all why y'all be so mad at us. We're women. You want to know why y'all be so mad at us? Fine. Y'all be so mad at us because Ma'am. you... Y'all cannot take when y'all men and straight men want to fuck us. What? Y'all get so upset. Y'all what? get Are you so serious? mad when y'all straight men want to fuck us more than y'all. What? That's what it is. Y'all are Ain't so they, mad. Okay, okay. All right. Let me Y'all get let me, so upset. Let me rebuttal for that's what all it is. the women out there. Let me I'm, rebuttal. I'm dead ass. Okay. And that's it's there. And listen, so, you may have all Y'all don't no, do no, what no, y'all no, men no. ask y'all to do. Ooh. We do. Girl, no. We that do. That is the last of our words. We suck good listen, dick. We that, suck good dick better than y'all. Okay. And that pisses y'all off. Ooh, y'all. Dude, this is really going to go Period. viral. What's up, Maddie? Hold on. What's up? I know you didn't say that. I know you didn't say that. Sydney said that. And you're and you're recorded not saying that you didn't say that. Go ahead. Those are not my beliefs. I don't believe that. And here's the thing. Y'all have twisted up my word. You twisted up my thing. I never Hold on. I lost you. I lost you, Maddie. I never said that out of my mouth. I lost you. I never said that. Okay. I have never said that women are jealous of trans women. I've never said that. Well, I said it. I said it then. You see your son? I said it. I said it. You see your son? You bitches are jealous of us. You see your son? You bitches are jealous. Go ahead, In my opinion. Go ahead, Maddie. I said that. Okay. I've never said that I said it. I've never said that. Okay. Because I, that those are not the way that I fucking said it. The fuck? Well, you know, perception is reality, right? I fucking said it. I've never said that. But re- perception that. is reality. When you write and you I don't physically it. say out your mouth what you mean, we take what you write. That, but you, no, you can't take what you think that you uh, No, that's perception. I it's said just it. like me tweeting when I went off on your mama. I had to come back and explain that. And I went off on your kids. That's fine. And we're even, right? We're even. But that was the last time I said anything about Miss Mary. That was the last time I said, but you still out here dragging Tonto and Lamine and their children. You fuck around. You fuck around. I'm going to have a lawsuit on your ass for bullying kids. Keep playing with me, T.S. You a grown grown man out here. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm just saying, they children, they children, and they ain't did shit to you. They children, and you know what's so funny? Is I apologize to you. I apologize to you about saying that about Miss Mary, and you still out here talking shit about my kids, and my pressure is with you. My pr- yes, I did. I put it in a whole video, Maddie. Yes, I did, Maddie. It's in a whole 45 minute video, baby. Don't do. Just say you didn't listen to it. Just say you didn't listen to it, Maddie. Okay. So don't say that I didn't apologize. I will upload the clip tonight. I will upload the clip tonight. Let's talk about, hold on. Okay. Let's talk about you and let's talk about you and Gio over there sharing my personal information, like my passport, my social security number, my ID. Let's talk about you. I don't have your I don't have your social security number. Yes, you do. I don't have your social security number. Maddie, listen, I'll tell you what I got. Maddie, I will tell you what I have. I don't have your social security number, baby. That is illegal. I don't do that. Maddie, Maddie, I was sent. Maddie, I'm trying to tell you what I got. I'm trying to tell you what I got. I ain't got a reason to lie to you. Go home. Come on. Let's do it. Okay. Baby, I got a copy of, of your passport blacked out. I don't have your social security number. You got it from Giovanni Matt. It doesn't matter. Listen, it doesn't matter who I got it from. I'm telling you what I got. You and Gio's problems are bigger than me. You and Gio's problems are bigger than me. Here's the thing. 
Well, you got it from Giovanni Nick, am I correct? I'm not, hey, hey, listen, I don't reveal my sources, but listen, I'm telling you what I got. got I'm telling you what I have, baby girl. And you got it from Giovanni I'm, I'm telling you what I got, baby girl. I'm not telling you where I got it from, but I'm telling you that I have a, I have a copy of your born passport blacked out. I don't have any of your personal information. Matter of fact, I think it's an expired uh, passport, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it's expired. But that's all I have on you, and it said your gender. It said your gender. That's all. That's all I was doing was a gender reveal. I was just doing a gender reveal online. Give me some of that gum, please. Thank what, what, are you, what were you doing? You, it's like, what were you doing? I was doing a gender reveal. What were you doing? I was doing a gender reveal. You didn't need to do a gender reveal. Why not? It's, it's, it's illegal for you to have it. Because, because it ain't illegal for me to have that shit, bitch. I didn't do, all I did was post what I was saying. How do I know it's real? Right. How do I know if it's real? Correct. You look pretty. Where you going? Because you... Because no, I just came from making money. Well, okay, baby, that's well, good. I'm glad you're out here making money. You need it. Maybe you can put an in-ground pool, but go ahead. Instead of that above-ground trailer park pool, go ahead. Mm-hmm, in-ground. Not, uh, not above-ground, and you build a, 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 a wood deck around it to make it look like it's a, uh, underground. Baby, don't, don't do that. It's a circle pool. I don't need to do that. Baby. Listen, I could pump bust a hole in it, it's done. I could cut bust a hole in it, it's done, baby. Listen, Maddie, we can read each other down, baby. We can read each other down, 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 down. <laughs> What's up? What? What about the house that you're purchasing? I, I'm not purchasing no house, baby. I rent. My rent like eight thousand dollars. I ain't purchasing no house. I can't afford to buy no house. I'm broke right now. You can't. I can't. I can't. That's good. I'm happy that black people are moving up. I am so happy I told that black you people she got more money up. than you. She do. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I can't. Buy another one. I can't. Buy another one, please. I am. Please. Okay. So, Maddie. Okay. So you look better. You sound better. You're making more money. What is your point? <laughs> My point is, you said some real irresponsible shit, and as a black woman that has a platform that knows you, I said that's some bullshit, and they said you've been out here on some bullshit for years. I didn't believe it till I saw it, Maddie. I've never said any irresponsible shit. I don't know, Maddie. Maddie, listen. Maddie, listen. We can agree to disagree, Okay. And we always will. We always so will, right? We always will. But at the end of the day, we still we we, we still are public figures. Listen. We still are public figures. Yeah, you, you, that's, that's, that's right. Okay. Here's the thing. Come swim come, come in this pool. Mm-mm. So the, it's so a circle pool, baby. So the, it's a circle so pool. I do, I, uh, uh, I do infinity pools. I do infinity pools. I got an infinity pool in my building. I'm sorry. You can't see where it starts or stops. I got an infinity pool. No, no, that's not your building. It, it's not. Building. It's not, but I pay that's for it. It's not. Just like that's just like building. just like if you don't pay that's the taxes building. on that house, that's not your house. That's just like if you don't pay the taxes on them, if you don't pay them crackers on that house, that's not your motherfucking house. Go ahead. And I heard it wasn't your house too. I I heard how you got the house. Don't make me put it out there now. I heard how you got the house. <laughs> what the Maddie? fuck? Hold on. What the fuck I heard how you got the house. You put oh a nigga God. in jail. You put a nigga in jail. Whoa, you hold on. In the house. Don't play with me, Maddie. Hold on. Don't you put know, my sister business out, whether it's true or not. Bitch, you know I be on mine. Do me a favor. Huh? Do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Put equity out of your building. I can't. I can't, baby. And if I could, I wouldn't want to, baby. I wouldn't want to. That's generational wealth. But go ahead. The equity stays. The equity going to be there until I die, and it's going to pass on to my children. But go ahead. Out of your building. Okay. All right. All right. I still have a house in Georgia. I still have a house in Georgia. It's got plenty of equity, but we're just saving it until we die and give it to our kids. Come on now. It's on the golf course and it's on the lake. You in the woods. It's on the golf course and it's on the lake. You in the woods. There's no lake around there. There's no golf course, bitch. You got woods and crackles out there that don't like motherfuckers like you, bitch. Don't play with me. Maddie, okay. Where I live with I, my 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 home in Georgia surrounded by Koreans that own beauty supply stores that you buy hair for that's really for us. But go ahead. Let's do our interview. Okay, we got to do our interview. Maddie, listen, we got to do our interview, okay? I gave you a platform. The chair is here. When you're done traveling... What kind of car do you drive? 
Listen, I drive a Chevy Z71. That's all I drive, a Chevy Z71. I'm trying to give it back. I'm trying to walk. I'm trying to walk out here, bitch. I don't want no car payment. I don't do it. I don't want no car payment. Maddie, 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 because I'm broke. Maddie, I'm broke. I'm broke. That's what, that's what people do when they broke. Maddie, that's good. That's good. But you broke in. But you're broken. There's a difference. You're broken. You wouldn't know how to deal with it if you was broke because you're broken on the inside. You're, you, you're pleased by aesthetics. Shit that could be taken away in a heartbeat. And if you don't get that ass check that's turning black back there, bitch, you ain't going to be able to swim in that pool either because it's an open wound. Don't play with me, Maddie. Listen, we're going to get our interview Y'all, started. Look. We're going to get our interview now. started. I love you, Maddie. And the chair is open, okay? Bye, you broken bitch. Fucking <laughs> I gotta go. Deja I gotta vu. Go. I gotta go get some De- dick. Deja vu. I gotta go get some dick out there. Deja vu season two. Sydney Star came in, motherfucker. Hey, hey, don't put that out. I told you. Give me that phone. <laughs> Deja vu. Cut it off. Okay. It's recording. Okay. Deja vu season two. The reunion. Sydney Star came in the building. I know you were shocked to see me, didn't you? Yes, I was. Yeah. I actually was, when I first saw you, you were there, I actually wanted to cuss you out. Why you want to cuss me out? Because I think you're such a bitch. I know. And I think I told you that you <laughs> there. Everybody does. But I just was like, you but know. But you love me I love. It was in fun, but I really was very shocked to like, why do they have this bitch here? To get y'all motherfuckers riled up. And it. It that did. trigger you, Not, motherfucker. You, I think <laughs> nothing got done. That really got done. It was all <laughs> arguing, fighting. Um, it wasn't because of me. I got dragged two times. You by think two it was people. because of me? The energy. Why? Oh. The Tasha K energy. <gasps> your your energy is all about rah 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 fight fight fight. <laughs> arr, 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 arr. <laughs> like that's why everybody was going nuts and going crazy. Why you let Diamond drag you on the ground like that by the wig? Don't say that because you've been pimped your whole life. Don't do that now. You got a whole thing between your legs. Thank you. All right, all right. Now listen. That's what goes down on TashaKLive.com. And that's what goes down on NowThat'sTV.net, okay? I'm doing real news. They doing real shows. You understand what I'm saying? So you need to subscribe to both. And here's another reason why you need to head over to TashaKLive.com. Let's go, Jasmine. You are the wife of NBA star Joe X- Smith. Joe Smith, yes. okay. We're going to call you Kiss. Is that your artist name? Yes. Do you use that on OnlyFans as well, too? Okay. I was a porn star from the years of 1989 to 2006. AIDS was rampant around this time. Everyone thinks that because you're a porn star, you're super promiscuous and that, you know, mm-hmm. you have a high body count. <laughs> I-, I ain't never seen nobody pump their husband the way you did. I have only. Fans. Page, and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course I'm mad if you just find out about it. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself, so why should I have to tell you my choice, my body, my body, my fucking choice? How, how did you and Joe meet? We met in Los Angeles um, in 2012 at a BET Awards party. So he was playing basketball at the time? No, he wasn't. Oh, he was? It was before? No, this is after basketball. After basketball? Yes. I don't know why I thought you met him. Everyone, that's the that's a preconception right there, or a misconception that I was with him while he was playing ball. I'm not. I was not that wife. So he's retired? Yes. Okay, was he getting retirement checks when you met him? Um, No, there, that doesn't work like that. Why? And then Monique Slaughter, she stole $100,000 from him. She was dating him prior to me. Loving hip hop, Monique? Yes. Um, M- Monique's Monique's. Monique's Monique. Got a baby by a little fizz. Monique's the thief. How the hell did that go down? And then I even have her on a recording saying, I can tell you how I got the money. So you're in a relationship with Kid, and then you fuck play? I was whack as fuck. Dick is trash. Got a little ass dick. Like I, like, I fucked up good dick for a whack dick. Whose life did you ruin? And nobody else's. <laughs> um, I was fucking with Pac for a little bit. Tupac? Yes. But not like his Whoa. girl. Just, you know, we boned every now and then. I met you him. You was fucking with Pac. Now Jada is finna lose her shit. Yeah. Tupac's widow is finna lose her fucking shit. Was you okay? The dick first was of all, good. I'm trying to figure <laughs> the out dick why. Tupac got some good dick. Yes. <laughs> 
Jada swears that Tupac was with her. No. And I'm like, no, he had a fiance. He was with Keisha and I was the other Keisha. And he probably was smashing around that time, but Jada was also fucking MC Light around that time. Let's talk about it at the catch, honey. Whoa. Gave them there together. Whoa. So, yes, ma'am. Whoa, what the hell just happened? You're saying that you know Jada Pinkett Smith. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Y'all make sure y'all head on over to TashaKLive.com right now to see this explosive interview, okay, that we did with NBA star Joe Smith's wife, Keisha Chavez. Okay, and when you die, you are gonna head over and download now that's TV.net to watch your favorite here host. That reunion, and when I say I came through like the host I was, it was my house. Okay? And I set the rules in my house. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, guys. If you could take, uh, please, if you want to send uh, tips on your favorite celebrities, please feel free to email me on wamatashak at gmail.com or hit me in the DM or on the Twitter, Instagram. Please follow us everywhere, okay? Twitter, Bigo, Rumble, Facebook, Instagram, Threads, all the above, okay, where you'll see all the content. And uh, if you want to advertise on the platform, please feel free to hit us at ads at TashaKLive.com. Thank you to my entire team for the hard work that goes into putting together these shows for y'all. Please, guys, like, share, subscribe. And with that being said, thank you to Teddy. Thank you to Jasmine Slim and everybody else. Now I got to go. Bye.